Well, how's it going, everyone? It is Saturday, May the 5th. And today I want to talk about divorce and remarriage. And I know there's a lot of Christians are debating about this. Um, and I want to read what the Word of God has to say about divorce. Uh, now, specifically, I want to talk about divorce. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to find scripture. Yeah, it's been dividing the body of Christ for a while now. Uh, let me see here. Uh -huh. Divorce. Divorce. Oh, somewhere on here. Ah, divorce. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, chapter 24, 24, verse 1. Let's take a look here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 1. All right. Uh, De Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 1. Then, uh, sorry, when a man takes a wife and marries her, and it happens that she finds no favor in his eyes, because he was found some uncleanness in her, and he writes her a, a certificate of divorce, but it, is, but it in her hand, and send her out of his house. All right. So that's another example. In in the uh, in New Testament. Uh, in Mark chapter ten verse four. Mark chapter ten verse four. It reads. Mark chapter 10 verse 4 They say Moses permit a man to write a certificate of divorce and dismiss her and Jesus said sorry Jesus answered and says to them because of the hardness of your heart he write you this this portrait but from the beginning of the creation God made them male and female for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. And two shall become one flesh, so then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let, let not man separate it. Okay. And the house his disciples also asked him again, about the same manner. So he says to them, whoever divorces wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if a woman divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. So understand what Jesus is, is, is talking about and also what the Old Testament uh, that God lay out His law, because it's very controversial uh, to this day, and I believe personally that we all got to understand the Scripture more by the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the only God that that, that He will give us understanding of His Word when we do pray to the Holy Spirit and, and asking Him to search our hearts to know the truth. And so my view on divorce, you know, plain and simple, you know, uh, I don't think it's 
Now, if, if she commits adultery, you have an option to divorce, but you got to reconcile. So I'm, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm against a uh, divorce because what the scripture teaches, and also the practice of uh, reconciliation. Um, you know, just, just being back to being back together because God hates divorce. That voice says in uh, Malachi, God truly hates divorce. Uh, and that it, it hurts his heart to see people not doing what they are called to do as husband or wife. Uh, it is very, very important to study the roles of the male or the husband in the roles of the of the wife and you know women because I believe that it is very very important to understand that life is going to be is going to get tough and, and through prayer and reading of the word of God we have faith that we can stick together and, and, and stay in one flesh so that's my views for it and uh, I hope that this blesses you and I'll see you again later